Hi, my name is Davide Piovesan and I'm the director of biomedical engineering at Gannon University. Uh, we have two programs, one which is an undergraduate program and then we also have a master program in biomedical engineering. Biomedical engineering is really a bridge between uh, different kinds of science and engineering. So you really want to be able to talk uh, with a physician and with an engineer at the same time. Uh, so that it takes a lot of these different skills and put them together in a generalist way. So uh, a biomedical engineer is uh, not specialized in one specific discipline. It really is able to take differing things about one discipline and another discipline and put them together in order to make a system work. And this system is usually applied to healthcare or to any kind of medicine related topic. Whenever you know you ask an engineer what do you make, usually what they say is that I want to make a difference. They have uh, a person in their life that might have a specific problems, or uh, they basically look at you know I want to I like medicine, but I also like to build things and basically putting these two different things together. Um, I think the main differentiation between uh, general engineer and a biomedical engineer is really not only the capability and the will to just build things, but also to build things that are very useful for the life of people, that make a difference in the life of people. In today's world, uh, this program is very relevant because uh, medicine has been improving quite a bit, but it's been improving through technology. So it's very good to have this engineering background and this, the biomedical engineer knows about the engineering part, knows about the, the terminology and the, and the medical problems, and is able to uh, design devices that that can be useful for the physician or can be useful for the individual, so solving particular kind of problems. So uh, a physician might come and say, we need some system, for example, that is able to uh, be an internal joint. Then the biomedical engineer will need to take a look and see what kind of material do, am I going to use. Uh, is it compatible with, uh, uh, with, with the system? You know, can it create any kind of infection or inflammation? Um, can it last for that amount of time? Um, can it create different kind of cracks in the bones, etc.? So there is a lot of technical questions that the biomedical engineer needs to solve. And Right now, we are really uh, going towards not only the mechanical part of the solutions, but also uh, electronics and uh, computer science. So we have two different um, specific tracks in our program. One that is more towards biomechanics, the other one that is a new track uh, that is towards bioelectrics. That basically uh, can solve uh, different kind of problems, for example, more related to computer science, computer engineering, uh, more related to uh, analysis of the data, or more related to the material side, uh, the mechanic side, the prosthetic devices, implants, etc. Uh, usually biomedical engineer is a rare major. You can find it in very high level institutions, uh, in the state of Pennsylvania, there's only eight accredited biomedical engineering programs, and we are in a very good companies, institutions like Penn State, Drexel, etc., which are in, in major cities. All these institutions have in common is that they're very large. Um, what Gannon is, is a, is a small, family-oriented institution. You know, we basically say, uh, that we are the Gannon family, 
We have uh, a group of students of, uh, in small classes. We know them name by name and we can interact with them not only in the class but outside of the class in doing a lot of activities that are related to research, interacting with the community, sports. And uh, one of the interesting things, we have a couple of niches that are not very common in other institutions. We specialize quite a bit in prosthetic devices and biomechanics. We have very cutting edge laboratories in which our students from basically the freshman year can practice with uh, cutting edge equipment and uh, we also specialize in uh, material science and application of biomaterials. So these tends to be actually the two niches that we, uh, we have. So uh, it's very important to be in Erie as a location because uh, Erie is in between a medical triangles. So there are three large cities basically, Pittsburgh, Cleveland, and Buffalo, which uh, have a lot of different medical centers. So we have interaction with uh, these facilities all the time. Our students basically are able to have a hands-on experience uh, and uh, interact with the physicians that actually are coming from these large centers and can be here. So we can have physicians that uh, operates in Pittsburgh, but also operates here in Erie or in, um, in, in, in these other large cities. What I love about what I do is really the interaction with the students. Um, I really um, love the research, but I love interacting with the students that are enthusiastic about their research. Uh, obviously, I can provide suggestions, but it's very interesting to come in, uh, to meet with the students and the students basically have already an idea of saying, I want to do this, I don't know how. And that's basically one of the greatest things that I can do is to guide them with my experience in the specific directions. High tech is very important, but low tech is also very important. You know, sometimes some students come in and say, I want to do robotics, I want to do these uh, uh, robotic prosthetic devices, which are great. Um, it's, a, it's a great experience. One of the questions is how many people are going to use this? And sometimes creating a simple device can actually make a huge difference for people that use it day to day. And that's actually uh, in making the impact uh, through the students and so that the students can actually make the impact with respect to the world is probably uh, my, my greatest prize.